Good morning, McGraw. This was a, a policy that the Obama administration first tried to to enact, tying these federal grants administered by the Justice with um, uh, by, by local police departments with federal immigration authorities. And, and, and it really involves flagging when an undocumented immigrant is in their custody, uh, the incarceration date, the perhaps release date, all of the, the, the uh, information that immigration agents could then use uh, if they wanted to, to perhaps round them up and, and, and make them eligible for deportation. Uh, many local police departments, of course, don't want to do this, and uh, they're, they're still putting up a fight despite the threat to withhold certain grant money. Uh, what? Uh, uh, explain. I know you just sort of did it there, but sanctuary cities. How how many are there? Who are they? And and how do you become a sanctuary city? Well, I think you sort of declare yourself one, uh, and there are sort of uh, ten you know, big cities around the country that have done it, but also. Uh, uh, cities that simply have local laws on the books that prevent their police departments from cooperating with federal immigration agents. And, and for some departments, it's a matter of time and resources. Uh, smaller places where they, they, you know, small police departments just don't have the time to go around helping uh, federal immigration authorities. And in larger cities, it's often um, a, a either a political decision or for police departments, a practical one. They say that they can't have immigrant communities fearful about their interactions with the police if they're going to, to, to solve crime in those communities. We have a police chief out on Long Island uh, in eastern New York who says he's got a problem with an MS-13 gang, which is a gang based in Central America. And he said, how can I solve crime in the Salvadorian community if Salvadorians won't come forward to help? And there's where... Uh, the conundrum lies for many. You've mentioned uh, President Obama's a a administration. They tried to do something similar to what Jeff Sessions is trying to do? Well, they, they tried to, to put in place, and, and Sessions appears to be you know, building on this policy, where the Obama administration wanted to tie federal grant money uh, to a... Um, you know, to, to the cooperation of these local police departments. And, and, and Sessions said that um, this seems to be a continuation of, of that policy, but he also seemed to go further, saying that this could be kind of the new norm in imposing more stringent requirements on federal money in the future. He said grants in the future could be issued that have additional requirements, as every grant that's being issued in America today usually has requirements if you qualify for this grant. And, and so he says... He'll be looking at that in the future and, and continuing to, uh, to to follow that policy. Sessions wasn't entirely clear. He didn't put a date on it. He didn't put a deadline on it. Uh, but it does seem to be in keeping with uh, with President Trump's approach to more forcefully enforce the nation's immigration laws. Aaron Katursky, are these sanctuary cities, these mayors, these police chiefs who are quote-unquote sanctuary cities, are they breaking the law by, by, by doing what they're doing? Uh, they say no, uh, and, and in fact, the Attorney General of New York said that um, there's broad authority under the Constitution to not participate in federal immigration enforcement, and so they believe they have firm legal footing. You know, the question is, are they willing to risk um, certain money, uh, which the federal government is now threatening to withhold? Uh, New York, for example, gets 50 to $60 million from these, uh, this round of grants that they use to buy helmets and vests for police officers, um, you know, fund uh, gang task forces, uh, you know, uh, crime lab, that kind of stuff. Sounds like it's an interesting reversal of a state's rights issue. Federal government telling the states what they can and can't do. Yeah, you know, and, and which, which is interesting because tr um, Trump is such a states' rights kind of person, but um, I, I think for him the, the issue of illegal immigration has been at the, the, the cornerstone of his uh, you know, uh, uh, of his policies. So it, it, this one to him seems to be um, a little bit more important than the, the, the rights of individual communities to, to make decisions that's best for them. And it really, I, I think, also uh, shows the, the urban-rural divide or, or, you know, big city, uh, you know, small town kind of divide, because many of the, the, the so-called sanctuary cities are are the ones with the biggest populations of undocumented immigrants and uh, and and who are the ones that uh, try to be maybe more nuanced in some of the issues. Yeah, Aaron Katursky with uh, this story about sanctuary cities. Thanks, Aaron. Have a good day. You too, my girl. Seven fifty-six.